Another event that's back and in person, Miami's Susan G. Komen, More Than Pink Walk in downtown Miami. Thousands took to the streets to raise money for breast cancer research. And the day was even more meaningful to those who were battling or survived breast cancer. CBS4's Carly Barnett explains. It was a sea of pink on Saturday on Biscayne Boulevard as thousands came together in hopes of finding a cure. The annual Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Walk was back to being in person after going virtual last year. This year's theme called More Than Pink. The emotion behind actually being back to a live event. I've participated for years. For Teresa Murphy, she had been doing the walk even before she knew anyone with breast cancer. Then she was diagnosed herself. Last year, as a teacher of fourth grade, I taught virtually the entire year during my treatment. And in that time, was still named Miami-Dade County Teacher of the Year. Just last month, she completed her last chemo treatment, officially going from a breast cancer warrior to survivor. Don't give up the fight. And the more positivity and mindfulness that you take part in throughout the process is going to bring you peace and comfort, and it's going to help you heal. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz is also a survivor and wanted to remind people, even in the pandemic, to remember life-saving screenings. We've had a huge drop in the number of women who are getting mammograms. They're, they're avoiding and putting off screenings, and it is so important because if you don't get screened, then if you are, God forbid, diagnosed with breast cancer, it's likely going to be later stage. Catching breast cancer early if you're going to go through it is so important. But it was not only survivors that came out, but also their supporters, those who are working to provide care and one day a cure. We are very proud of what we do. We are very passionate for what we do every single day. And we know how important it is, what we do really behind the scenes for our patients. And we love them. We want to work for them. Carly Barnett, CBS4 This Morning. And organizers say roughly 4,000 people took part this year. There was also a virtual option, so everyone who wanted to participate could do so. Well,